All right, so I'm going to show you the method I'm using to set up a read switch. It's working really well in these little units. Um, what I used to do is I'd just connect, you know, solder onto here, kind of haphazardly, and try to use it. And I could never get the fine precision that I could get with one of uh, these read switches. And uh, these read switches, I would remove them from the metal base, um, and you've seen these in a lot of my videos. These work really well. They always work better than what I could achieve with these. And uh, so what I did is I actually opened one of these up. And uh, what I noticed inside was that instead of using the long legs, that they had, you know, made the legs very short. And that's why when I would position the reed like this, you could see the little L here, I could get really fine-tuning adjustments. Um, and it just worked really well. Well, I duplicated the same thing with one of uh, these little guys from Amazon. And these are the reed switches in the link if you go to the forum and see the reeds that are in the the link there. That's what these are. So anyway, I'm using speaker wire and uh, what I do basically is I get in here as close as I can to the reed switch. You want to support it here because if you just bend this you could break the glass. But once it's supported you can bend this all the way around and back at itself like that. And uh, then you're able to clip this and I'm actually just going on these as small and short as possible. So depending how good you are at soldering you may have to leave more or less, but basically that sets us up there. We got this nice little uh, hook shape, and uh, then I'll go ahead and solder that up. So now that we've got the first connection connected again, I want to isolate this so that I don't hurt it, and then I want to bend this wire back in line as close and snug as possible. And now you can see that we've got this extra long uh, line coming up here. And what I'm going to do is basically just measure it and snip it off at the, at the distance just this side of the reed. So somewhere like there. And I'm going to strip this off and clip the reed and solder that on. And then that will give us a very usable reed switch. Okay, so we've stripped the end of the wire on the speaker wire off here. And I'm just going to clip here at the reed, pretty close to the back of the reed switch. But those two points now line up, and we've got a very inline, you know, nice little reed that we can slip in around the motors. So now let me just uh, solder that. There we go. So anyway, that's the way that I set up a reed switch for the pulse motors, and these work really, really good. Um, I'll go ahead and just split this and strip off a little bit here so we can clip onto this, and, uh, and then this reed's ready to go. And uh, So anyway, that's what I've come up with, folks, and I can really nestle these in around the motors and, and find the really sweet spots. And uh, I don't get a lot of drag from the reed because I've terminated these ma these um, magnetic leads on the read down at just as small as possible. So this works really good, just thought I'd share that.